What's going on guys, it's CH here from VillagePartMedia.com and it's our 12th video on HTML and CSS. And before we start really digging deep into CSS, I want to talk about the CSS reset page. Here, let me type up some text to show you. Just find my index file and write this is our CSS video. We'll save it. Go over here, right click and open it up with our Safari browser okay and our text shows up right here but you see how that every browser kinda has its own default settings for the font the indentation the padding from where the word starts over here till the end of the browser as well as from the top well here's the thing we want this web page to look the exact same on every browser all of them Chrome Safari Firefox Opera and even Internet Explorer Internet Explorer my arch nemesis well, all these, all these browsers render this HTML a little bit differently. They all have their default settings. Like some of Opera might be a little bit further over here or a little bit further this way or a little bit further to the left or just a whole different font altogether. I think this is Courier 13. I'm not sure what the other ones use. But I want to make, my, I want to make this web page completely universal on every browser. So what do I have to do is I have to Google for a CSS reset file, which is what I'm going to do right now. So I'll open up a new tab. Google CSS reset. And here we go. CSS tools. MyWeb.com. This one's legit. So this one's universal for HTML, XHTML, and HTML5. Don't worry about HTML5 right now. I'm going to go do a whole other series of tutorials on that tomorrow. So let's copy our paste. Let's copy and paste it from here all the way down to the bottom to there and I'm gonna copy it command C and I'm gonna pull it back to our CSS file that we have not created yet so what we need to do is create a CSS file so I'm gonna to go to our text editor I'm gonna click new and I'm gonna put this copy and paste it right here on the first line just like that perfect okay now I'm gonna save this as style.css because now we're in we're not in HTML anymore we're the directory the correct directory term or name is CSS so we want to click on village park do not put in images we don't want it in our image folder just keep it right here on our root folder so we'll hit save there it is it just showed up in the background you see that perfect okay so here's our reset folder so it sets all the browser settings back to zero so they're on the same page so we've got our margin of zero, padding of zero, order of zero, These, this is in pixels font size is 100% I think it's like 100% on most browsers is like 13 size 13 font so yep this is exactly what we want to look for body line height of one perfect so if we do want to change like the table or we want to change the block quote, remember that it is a cascading style sheet and anything we put further down on the bottom is going to override it. So say we wanted to have our tables with a border spacing of two pixels. See right here it's at zero, but we want to override that. So we'll type in border spacing. Don't worry about what border spacing is right now unless you already know. We'll go over that later. And I want to do... I don't know, five pixels. So since it is cascading, this is going to override this. But if we don't, if we say we don't want to do like a block quote with the quotes, something different, anything else that we don't edit is just going to resort back up here to its parent information. So now that we have our style sheet in, we can create our first, we can start jamming in CSS. So I'll see you guys in 